I try to share with you lots of budget meals and leftover meals, and I'm trying to show you that you can put something together for a very small amount of money and still eat well. Like I keep saying, you're going to cook like a peasant and you're gonna eat like a queen. Just because you have not spent a lot of money, putting a meal together doesn't mean it can't taste wonderful. And if you have a little tiny part of your garden, and you don't have to have a massive garden like a lot of people. I have mentioned quite a few times that I'm gonna be doing mostly gardening probably in containers pretty soon. I'm having a lot of health issues and I cannot hardly get around anymore. So it's getting harder and harder. So you're gonna see more and more container gardening like the green stalks. And I'm gonna share with you how you can put meals together in a small space. So you don't have to buy everything from the store. And I know these scallions or green onions or spring onions, all those things are quick and easy to grow in a green stalk. You're not gonna struggle. You're not gonna have to do a lot. And that's what's great about a green stalk. So anyway, I cut these green onions for today's budget meal leftover. You know, grandma's always thinking of something she can do. And another thing grandma has plenty of also, carrots growing in her green stalks. So I can pull carrots out and put a little meal together for almost nothing. The meal you're gonna see today is a super simple meal and it was made with leftovers. And I, my thing for the starting of this on my budget meal under $5 was carrots and rice, carrots from the garden and the green onions from the garden. And you're gonna see there isn't too many more things that I used in that recipe. Now we're gonna turn in these meal, $5 or less, than your leftovers and make us some rice chicken soup. But we're still gonna be using things I already have in my garden. Wanted to share with you these carrots over here. I haven't used them in a while and they're still not quite ready to pick. But when I do, I will share them with you. These carrots are round. Yes, round carrots. And we're gonna be using them maybe in another month or two in a recipe. I just wanna make sure when I pull one out that they are as big as they're gonna get. So, or I shouldn't say that. I mean, I don't care if they're sort of a baby carrot, but I don't want them, I mean, I gotta have some kind of carrot there to cut up. But I want you to see that they're round and it's gonna be exciting. And you're gonna see that I can put a lot of mules together for hardly any money at all. And I am growing lettuce in my green stalks and more of those round carrots. As you can see, the carrots are right here and the lettuce is right here. And I have enough lettuce now growing in my green stalk. I can have a fresh salad from my green stalk every single day with no extra cost. It's all growing in my garden. Uh, my tomato plants got damaged from a hard freeze. I don't know, probably been a month ago now. And I still think it's too cold to try to grow fresh tomatoes. So um, probably another month, I'll go buy two or three tomato plants and we'll get going on tomatoes in the garden again. Now let's go in the house and see what budget meal I'm putting together today with leftovers. Yes, leftovers. And you're going to be amazed what I was able to do and how little money I spent. Sit down with your cup of coffee or tea and here we go. Good evening, good evening, good evening to my awesome, awesome friends. You know what time it is, don't you? Budget meal time, but it's a little twist on the budget meal on Wednesday night. It is cooking with leftovers. Yes, leftovers. We're going to use that leftover rice and carrots that we had yesterday. And today we're going to make chicken soup out of it. Yes, chicken soup. And how am I going to do that? Because I made Alfredo. Uh, on Sunday and when I made Alfredo on Sunday we got three servings out of that on a half a chicken breast no less for me and my husband now the other half of that we're going to use for this dish we're also going to use one can of chicken broth to warm up that chicken that I'm going to cut up we're going to cut up that onion and that onion maybe was 35 40 cents I did put a little pepper in there and that pepper, I don't know. I'm going to say maybe we spent 20 or 30 cents for it. I don't know. I may not even be that much. Anyway, that's all I had. One little pepper and we're going to cut that up and go in with that onion. Yes, with that onion. 
And then when that onion looks like it's a little browned and that pepper looks like it's been warmed up a little bit, then we're gonna put it in our soup. This dish maybe took, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes because basically everything was already cooked except for that. I had to cut up the chicken breast. This is a half a chicken breast. The other half went into Alfredo a couple days ago. It made three servings a piece for me and my husband. Uh, I didn't put that on budget meal because it wasn't a budget meal because that Alfredo sauce was expensive. Okay, so this half a chicken, 89 cents because it was $1.79 for one breast and I only used half. So we're doing, I think, pretty good on this budget meal. What do you think? We got 35 cents for an onion, maybe 20 cents or 30 cents for that pepper. We got 89 cents for the chicken breast. We're moving along on this pretty quick and easy, don't you think? Gonna cut that chicken up and it's gonna be great in the soup. You know, grandma, waste not, what not. Can't beat the price on this, can you? I thought I was pretty good. Let me know what you think. We need to learn to eat good, but we need to learn to cook, cook in a budget. Okay, here we go back to our food again. We also are going to throw some nuts in there. Eh, maybe, I'm going to say 40 cents for the nuts. I don't even know if it's that much. I'm probably over saying everything. But as you can see, we're working on it. And we're throwing that and those extra nuts in with the nuts and the uh, rice we already had and the carrots we already had. And that had already been seasoned. Our chicken's warming up in that chicken broth. I did add another cup. Uh, that can was 16 ounces. I put 16 ounces of water and now we're going to mix some of that rice in this soup and those nuts and those onions and those peppers and we're going to make some chicken soup. Oh my gosh, doesn't it sound wonderful? And you know some? It was. I've already eaten it and it was great. Had a lot of flavor and you know you can add more seasonings to it but please taste it before you do because you don't want to over season your soup but you want to make sure you put what you want in it and you're gonna make it great. Here's our chicken soup. It's looking great, isn't it? Everything's all been revived from that chicken broth and water. Everything is mixing well together. And just in a second, I'm gonna share with you that bowl of soup. And is this not look wonderful? Oh my gosh, look at that soup. You can feel the warmth coming off. It's cold here. And it's a great winter soup, chicken rice soup. And look at what I spent. I don't think we spent over a dollar a bowl. So happy you enjoyed the video today and I hope to see you again soon and see what other wonderful videos we can put together and make something yummy to eat from the garden. See you next week. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy and Debbie. Next Wednesday night is going to be leftover meals and we'll always have something yummy to eat on a budget and very low cost, but really good. Like I always say, cook like a peasant and eat like a queen.